Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to configure HSIB HOT Standby Router Protocol in Backdate Tracer to achieve gateway residency. This means that if one router goes down, another one will take over seamlessly without network interruption. For simplicity, we will be using only one PC instead of two. And we won't configure the switches, we are focusing only on HSRB. So let's get started. Here is our network topology we'll be working with. Router 1, Router 2, our two resident routers using HSRB. PC1, the only client device that will use a virtual gateway IP for network access. Now, let's start configuring our routers. First, let's configure router 1, which will be the active router in our topology. Here is what we just did. Setting router 1 interface IP. Created a virtual gateway. Increased the priority to 110, so it becomes the active router. Enable the permission, meaning if router 1 fails and then comes back, it will reclaim control. Now, let's configure router 2 as the backup. Now, let's configure router 2 so it takes over router 1 if it fails. Router 2 has a lower priority, 90, so it stays in standby mode unless router 1 fails. That way, if anything happens, router 2 automatically takes over. So now let's verify the HSRB status on router 2 to confirm it is in standby mode. As expected, router 1 is active and router 2 is standby, ready to take over if needed. Now let's configure BC1 so it uses the virtual gateway. BC1 will send its traffic through the virtual gateway and HSRB will decide which router will handle it. So finally, let's test the connectivity from BC1. We will ping the virtual gateway, router 1 actual IB, router 2 actual IB. Perfect. Everything is working and HSRB is handling gateway residency correctly. So, what did we accomplish today? We configured HSRB on two routers for redundancy. We verified that router 1 is active and router 2 is a standby. We configured one PC to use the virtual gateway. We successfully tested connectivity to all devices. This setup ensures that if one router fails, the network remains operational with zero downtime. If you found this helpful, hit the like, subscribe for more networking content and drop a comment on what lab you would like to see next. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.